ladies and gentlemen, it is Judgment Day. We about to get like a massive Black Ops 6 gameplay. I think they about to reveal a BBC bundle as well and the skin. Like the video if you just want a good game, eh? Dislike if you want still this match making. And you want the game to be in trash. Let's see. Let's find out, boys. Get ready. Get your keyboards out. Yeah, people are bricked up. People have been bricked up for Black Ops for a while. So this is Black Ops 6 Direct. Zombies, multiplayer uh, gameplay this side, campaign as well. Let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, dang. Drek, bring it in. Hello, and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles. And thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have something special on our hands with Black Ops 6. And I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. There's still hope, you guys think? Okay. Cheers! Okay. We are rolling. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the U.S. government, Dang. branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. I cannot wait for Blame Truth's video after this one. I'm hyped for that more than this. Every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude <laughs> players expect from the Black Ops franchise. <laughs> Yeah, Multiplayer yeah, 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 is of yeah, course yeah, yeah, here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Damn, Max Leslie put some weight on to it. push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. Yeah, he looks we'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round-based zombies is absolutely back and better than ever, and you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that, let's step into the mind-bending campaign experience we've been crafting mm -hmm. with our partners at Raven. <laughs> Okay, campaign first, then zombies as well. Yeah, he built though. Looks like that he been no getting like protein. Now. You imagine this is the tower mission? So there are rumors and teasers. If Every this Call is your of Duty first time. player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops Six, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. Rumors saying we are bringing that action-packed blockbuster mission, feel apparently. to every the step towers. of the narrative. We're gonna find out. We are giving I don't you think more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. I don't think that's a friendly UAV online uh, reveal. The game is packed reveal. with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high-octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The U.S. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere, and there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath mm -hmm. of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Oh, so you should see. <laughs> Oh man, he back, he back. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. He back, With veteran he back. Frank Woods as our through line in our story. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. Okay. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA. Oh, poor often guy. Often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. We need him as like a wheelchair operator in multiplayer. Himself right? in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA. He's going to be over Lester. Yeah. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately hey, forced to go is... rogue. They Yo, soon the... realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. 
Yo, the mustache go crazy. Without any of their usual resources. They have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters and Felix Newman, a technical genius. That's Bob Lazar. <laughs> That's Bob Lazar, bro. I, I know it's not, but it looks like it. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. For the Black Bradley, Ops single player line. campaign, we prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, Just show the game each crafted show the game from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. Damn, GTS 6, boys. We aim GTS to take players all good. over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them open as they world. see fit. Yeah, open world. Like where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to read. People saying that looks like he looks like Zlaner Uncle. Raw Flora Six says that he looks like Zlaner Uncle. <laughs> I see the similarities. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges <laughs> for the player. So whether they choose to go in oh, guns blazing or take a stealthier approach. Line them up right, you can take them both out with one shot. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels but caught off escape routes, pushed on player's location, and forced them to think on their feet. We've created certain yeah. missions okay. where we give you a high-level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people! They know we're coming! So how many gigabytes? 3,000 gigabytes? The largest gigabytes. You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in Southern Europe. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the Dang. player does in this space is totally unexpected. In another one of our missions, we have set in the harsh tundra of Northern Russia. Okay. Uh, it reminds me of that Warcuda mission I from Black Ops 1. I brand new bit. equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD, tranquilizer trap, adrenaline stem, homing knife, disruptor. Yeah, it reminds me of that mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the man. campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. I thought a horror movie was going to start when she, the way she came in. Of the right? environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team is also bringing back the evidence board, which is still the centerpiece yeah, of the safe one, house Yeah, this one, Black Yeah, yeah, but yeah. with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Okay. 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 Attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. Bumble club. That was sick. Oh, great. I think right. we got it. With Black Ops 6, our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every yeah, single yeah, 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 yeah. mode. This looks like Modern Warfare 2022 map, right? We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft yeah, the most backward signature dive, yeah. Black Ops experience for our players. 
movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. In and a with way, Black Ops way. 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. Okay. For the so first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely <laughs> new global system oh, we call man. Omni Movement. Okay. Okay. This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees. I guess now you can like find a camping spot and just fall right then and there instantly. Like you found a camping spot that's behind you, BAM! Like that, you feel what I'm saying? You can just instantly like hop into your camping spot. Yeah, GG's boys. Degrees range of motion. From the beginning, we started with, you can't do this thing, why? and then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, people then you can dive way. in any direction, you could slide in any direction, which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. Yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Damn. Yo. It's really been something that changes how you think Not and bad. play the Not game. Bad whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. Okay. Yeah, like once she tastes the BBC, she can never go back the yeah, same way. Okay, uh, <laughs> I saw Stoner coming with two Call of Duty ruined by movement yet again. <laughs> WRL movement, what are we thinking? Let me know in chat right now. Movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform. Let me rewind a little. We also have what we're calling intelligent w movement, L which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. Thank you for the two, brother. Thank we you. We want thank every you. player, regardless of skill level or thank input you, thank, or thank, experience thank with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. We looked at other genres like racing games, where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. I don't, I don't know, think man. this is a one-size-fits-all thing. That shotgun, the way it shot reminded me of Modern Warfare 2022 in a bad way. But... Their preferred setup. Anybody felt the same way when he shot that shotgun, right? Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So oh, now we can determine no. if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right. Oh, no way, bro. J-God needs to be working extra right now, bro. J-God, where you at, J-God? Hey, yo, where you at? Drifter is not necessarily in the scene. Yeah, Exclusivist and J-God, bro. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they got the guides right. They're gonna get the guides ready. They're gonna be working extra. So far, game looking fine. Fine, actually. Uh, to be honest, uh, it's looking fine. It's not exceptional. Uh, first impressions, not exceptional. Not hidden the G-spot, not mind blown. But it looks good. It looks I. You know, it looks I. Where, where everybody's at? Where's everybody at? I would say small W in a way where because it's not bad. Somebody said better than Summer Game Fest. Oh, absolutely. Uh, way better than the entire Xbox showcase has been better than Summer Game Fest. Absolutely. I, I mean, the bar was so low with the right? All regions were rainbow colors. Yeah. Yeah. Right leg. And then we'll play a bespoke passable, death yeah, animation passable. depending on that location that they were hit. So world connectivity Glory is this w, concept yeah. that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, no. your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since no. it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. Oh, this game is gonna be really sweaty, bro. I, nah, everybody just like that, bro. Nah, I hope there's an option to turn it off, but it's like, if your enemy, if enemies are using this, then, and you don't use it, then you're at a disadvantage. Good movement, uh, on paper, looks good visually, but, you know, sick is gonna be sick as, man. 
And the way gamers gonna play this, boy, this is gonna be real sweaty, bro. One, if you think that's gonna be sweaty. Two, if you disagree and you think it's not gonna be sweaty, bro. It's not gonna be map knowledge, bro. You just, you, you just need map knowledge, bro. What we thinking? We're constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations low? in Black Ops 6. Low. Set the bar low. Go, go play Barbie dolls. You'll be alright. Get over it. Okay. Nutty game. Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. For our faces, a dynamic real time analysis of. The BBC bundle this time is gonna be real next gen, bro. Spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to no, actual. No, they did that! We made sure to have special attention. To the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails, and the oils on their palms as they're sweaty and running through situations that they're in. We're paying attention to every detail. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Our heroes are rogue operatives and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. Okay, okay. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any play style that you can imagine. All zombies, while zombies. maintaining the feel and tone of the era. Macro Pog handgun. <laughs> in Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper-real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real-world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the timing, then riff off of that and create that hyper-real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Now, honestly, bro, like, there's n so far out outside of that, uh, like, diagonally movement, uh, there's everything. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's actually looking good. It's not exceptional, but it's passable, right? It's lowercase w, as some of you put it in the chat. It looks good. Like, yeah. But skill based matchmaking is always going to be the, the problem. Oh, the, the Black hug, Ops the 6 hug, user yeah, experience is all about focusing players Please. on what they need when they need it. Make and it our good. In game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. Please, please, make it For clean. For the first bro. time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, sheesh, sheesh. streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Sheesh. Want to play hardcore anywhere? Or finally put the mini-map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Sheesh. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. Okay, on this one, I gotta say big W, bro. You wanna... I, I know it sounds like very petty, but, but man, Black Ops 4, bro, the HUD was abysmal. And I'm not necessarily hyped to hear this for multiplayer necessarily, I'm more hyped for the zombies! Because I want to barely, I want to see the, the HUD being like the old school Black Ops 1, even Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 zombies. You feel what I'm saying? Any zombie fans? And I guess they're going to reveal zombies too, hopefully. So I like it. I like it. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back. Sheesh. Where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. Okay, this is good. Yeah, HUD good. HUD good. Hot good. Oh, that's blame truth, bro. That's blame truth. What the hell? Blame truth. What you doing there, bro? Blame truth looking different. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, for how we used to handle prestige. Oh, Prestige is back. That's what we heard, according to Lee. Traditional okay. Prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. We pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty Prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter Prestige, start or fresh not. with yeah. relocked yeah, gear, yeah. and go through the leveling journey again. 
Black Ops 6 will have 10 prestiges, each with a Cheers. valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Love it. Players who make it through Prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige. Oh man, behind this blue Prestige icon, that's Black Ops 1 right there, bro. Oh, shit. I remember, man. I remember, man. Yep, I, I'm, I'm glad that they're bringing Prestige back. But guys, like, let's not lower the bar. We should not be satisfied with just because they're bringing back the Prestige. They should have never removed it. They should have always tried to enhance it and improve it because Prestige is Call of Duty. Call of Duty is Prestige, you know what I mean? And when they removed it, that was such a low blow, bruh. Uh, and, and now they're bringing it back. Everybody's like bricked up. It's a good move. Don't get me wrong. 10 prestiges. Yeah, later on they can make it 20 even. I remember Bat Modern Warfare 3. That's what they did. I'm talking about the original Modern Warfare 3, not like the, the, the recent trash. Each master with a thousand additional levels to climb through. Zombies coming up. Zombies and coming up. And a classified up. reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. Yeah, theater the coming back to. The full prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops 6. Oh wow! Oh wow! Back in the days, we also had day one though. I, I don't know why we gotta get excited about that, but we also had prestige day one back in the days. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, I don't know, here's bro. some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Okay. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Oh, Enforcers shit. Are the sl I thought he was gonna say we support three maps at launch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, bro, I swear to God, man. I swear to God, if you suckers launch this game with three only maps, I'm gonna find y'all asses, bruh, in, in Black Ops 6. Slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives whoa, for the whoa, win whoa, whoa, whoa. or focus on <laughs> taking out enemy score streaks for the team. Oh, check, All of our crazy. weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning with Black Ops 6. <clears throat> now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, but of course that Zombies? means you're gonna get some early details on maps. We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 oh, and shit. four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 okay. or 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hard need smaller pacing, too. to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. Okay. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, Jeez. but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Of course. Sheesh. OK. 16 maps, that's passable. We covered a lot today. Uh-oh. couldn't leave Zombies. you without giving you Zombies. just one more thing. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, shit. Please be good. Please be good. Zombie screw, maybe? Maybe? Round Base Zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We got DEI Zombie. Okay, before we get into this, everybody, okay? <laughs> uh, don't let your dogs out, all right? Same energy, my brother. Same energy. <laughs> we getting, yeah, she back, boys. Big fat zombie. We love it. We love it. Love my, my stud donuts out there. If you're a stud donut, hey man, listen. Hey. Hey. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take. Four years. Four years. Four years. You're only gonna release two maps? Come on, man. Y'all are a billion dollar company. Y'all spent like four years making this game, bro. Now, if these two maps turns out to be, like, exceptional, which likely not, it's not gonna be, but but if they turn out to be exceptional and very good, then okay, yeah, okay, too fine. But, but like, two maps only? Tell me, I'm... Okay, you guys are satisfied with two? I'm not satisfied with two. Oh, yo, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm not satisfied with two. On the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies 
is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations in movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Plus, there are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round-based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Okay, that was it. Steph interviewed AB Mark. The reason I'm not so excited about the idea of two maps only at launch is because we know the next new map is probably going to come out three, four months later. Five months later, that was like their record for Modern Warfare 2022 for one multiplayer map. Now, yeah. we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next August on 20th? August 28th. Okay. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be Don't trust the Call of Duty YouTubers. Sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Jeez. Our goal on oh, Black Warzone? Ops 6 was, and still is, to make something that is the best work we've ever done, Warzone and frankly, well, the okay. most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to oh, move rip. how real people and operators move. Rip. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige, then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a what? huge push Please? has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all-new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. On top of that, the team is really... Oh man, the chat, I'm crying, man. I'm crying, bro. Cheating, cheating, cheater zone, bro zone, cheater zone, L, big L's, no, come on, no war zone, please, war zone, L, cheaters are the lowest of the low in gaming. I would smash TBH. Everybody's saying L, everybody's saying cheater zone, and there is, there is, it's Karna that says I would smash TBH. Oh. Really focused on mission and engagement. Brother, variety. that's haram. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever, from movement, to shooting, to footsteps, to engagement systems, to death. And last, but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round-based zombies. Oh shit, I thought you said There's so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. Okay. On behalf of the entire team, Sheesh. we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. WRL boys, I think the reveal has been good so far, but again, we're seeing a very controlled and very small uh, like portion. So we gotta wait for the gameplay. He said August, uh, we saw gameplay a little bit, but like a full blown reveal August 28th, he says. 25th is when the game releases, okay. Pre-order and get the world edition and get Frank Woods. Yeah, this was all leaked. Honestly, has been has been good, but I'm not mind blown, not hit in the G spot, not bricked up whatsoever. I know some people, some of you are bricked up. Let me see what everybody's saying. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer, click on this video on the screen. They they released the trailer as well. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.